But the North doesn't have a monopoly on tough childhoods or filmmakers keen to turn them into movies. Created and partly paid for by Gary Oldman, Nil by Mouth was a bloody hunk of social realism, still twitching on the slab. I first saw Nil by Mouth when it came out in the Brixton Ritzy on my own in an afternoon and there were about 12 other people in the cinema and I thought it was going to be hard work. Ray Winston's performance is a revelation. It's so powerful what he does in it. From the first frame of the film, he's just ordering drinks at the bar and he does it with such sort of a menace. Asking for a tray, has you got no ice? Has you got no ice? He plays that damaged lad that I know, but I don't have the nerve to get too close to. Can and will turn around and savage anyone. Keep it them olives. Put a drink it or fucking wear it. You think I some pull that? No. Where are you going now? I've got this seat here for you. I'll be back in a minute. Well, where are you going with all this? <laughs> Nil by Mouth is a wonderful film with wonderful performances. It's just not exactly what one would choose to go to on one's birthday. Now, where's my fucking bit of gear? I don't know what you're... Don't fucking lie to me! What? For some people, though, your birthday is just another day when someone belts you across the skull. They're built. Where's my fucking... Gary Oldman grew up in the places where the film is set. Mind your own fucking business! Set Fuck fucking you! Don't swipe at his cup! Many of the characters are based on people he once knew. Oldman had a difficult relationship with his father as well, although he was nothing like the Ray Winston character. That came from the director's own experience of alcohol addiction. When you look at Gary Oldman's direction, it's like he needed to see if he could do it himself. And I'm so glad it's the only thing he's directed because he probably thought, I'm never going to do anything as good as that again. I hadn't quite focused in on what it was going to be about, but I knew I was going to come back to South London. I started to write, in fact, about the heroin addict in the film, Billy. There was a scene where he went to his mum's and I started to write the mother and I thought, God, these women's voices, these women are interesting. It was so important to me to do this authentically with no sentimentality. Nil by mouth in its portrayal of British culture has an element of nostalgia to it, to the point where it's almost like resurrecting some things that are almost bygone. It's an old-fashioned movie. There's got these pub songs where grandmothers sing Can't Help Loving That Man, a song that I doubt people were singing in South East London in 1997. 